Okay, so finally great news. This is the wire that will feed the circuit breaker box here coming from in here. So yesterday when got the wire one and I got it got it in there. Ran it through. We were using We were using this wire to pull it through. And let me tell you about a foot from the end it broke so lucky for us it was only a foot away from the end and what I did is I cut off the conduit and was able to grab it and pull it on through because I've got extra the box is gonna go somewhere in here so there's plenty of wire so that's a good thing so now what I'm going to do today is bury this thing. I've got to pull that wire down. I moved it up here because I wanted to get this uh, little area over here, I'll show you, somewhat straight. I wanted to get this wire straight in here. Well, relatively straight. The reason that I want this relatively straight here is because what I'm thinking we'll do is from lining up from this wall here coming out this way, we'll put a little uh, spa jacuzzi looking thing there. And uh, the wall will be a little bit higher than the swimming pool, which we're thinking of running this way. Instead of going out that way and losing all that open area, we'll put it along this side. And then what I'm thinking is the water gets pumped from the pool into here it'll get sprayed by uh, water jets so it can massage you and put bubbles in there and whatever and then the overflow will get back into the pool by putting the wall here and allowing for spaces for the overflow now originally i had thought well I'll move this conduit around this way and back around this way to where I'm standing but I would have to cut that that conduit and I didn't want to do that so I think this is the solution is we'll run this thing this way put a concrete wall here and separate the two areas with the overflow running through here and I think that will work pretty good at least that's what I'm thinking so that's what I'm gonna do so for today I am going to uh, cover this thing up so that we can talk to the tractor guy get an estimate on what he would charge us to push this dirt around so as we find out we'll let you know all right okay so there it is the trench where the conduit to the electrical line feeding the chicken coop 
is very okay so there you have it guys the wire is sitting there waiting for the circuit breaker box and the lights and all that good stuff so what are we waiting for well like I had mentioned in one of the other videos all projects are basically at a standstill inside of here we have the four rooms but we have to wait for the cement as we have to wait for the electrical why well because of the immigration uh, requirements all funds have to go to savings to meet the requirement by the time two months prior to the renewal of my visa so until then all I can do is rob Peter to pay Paul and you know continue doing some of the projects and what have you uh, for example the fish tanks uh, it was a very very good opportunity to dig that it was a very good deal because they were across the street so I had to take it and like I mentioned before it was a blessing in disguise because I got all this dirt which I can use well I already used part of it inside of the chicken coop to level the floors and I will use to level this area here so I'm doing a little bit here and a little bit there but major projects I'm gonna have to really wait uh, until I meet that requirement and uh, you know there it is so anyway that was a big major hurdle is to get that wire into that conduit and it's there so little by little I will put power into that chicken coop and I will put some cement on there so I can build the uh, chicken boxes and the rabbit cages and all that stuff and uh, we can get on our way but this I had to do now because it's time going by you've got to get them fruit trees in there because it takes forever for them to grow and start producing so if I waited months and months that's just months and months that I would be loosing to those trees rooting and growing and start producing so yeah so whatever i can do i do you know and uh, unless i win the lottery or somebody gives me a whole bunch of money it's gonna have to wait and right now that's where we are slow crawl but it will get done all right we'll see you guys later all right bye see you next time see you bye bye